Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be showing you how to sew this beautiful butterfly jumpsuit you are seeing right here. This is actually a trendy butterfly uh, jumpsuit. You can see the back looking so beautiful and wonderful. And you can see this butterfly jumpsuit has two fabric joined together at the center front and center line to begin this tutorial i'm making my half scale bodice pattern right here as you can see so both the front and back length is the same my front and back length is 17 17 inches from shoulder to half length and here i'm making my neckline right now one by four inches and for front four by four Waistline. So I will name this part my waistline. What do I mean by waistline? Remember our front waist we just um, finished drafting for the half scale which I dropped is 17. So I'll place that 17 right here because that is exactly um, if you are making a normal, not a jumpsuit, if you are making normal, you know, gown or whatever, you bring in your half length and join. So I place my half length. Of 17 inches right there and I'm going to mark my hip line so this is my hip line okay so I place my hip line of 29 right there so once I'm done placing my hip line of 29 inches next I'm going to do is to rule my line so here I've ruled my line for my hip line so the next thing i'm going to do now is to measure my my knee line so my knee line i'm going to measure my knee line from the from that 17 inches so i place my 17 inches from the knee line and i'm going to measure my knee at 44 so my knee line is 44 i'm going to mark So my knee line is 44. I'm going to mark. So the next thing we want to do now is to determine our crouch line. So to determine your crouch line, simply come in with your hip. I've already calculated it. This is the calculation. Hip divided by 4 plus 3. So whatever your hip is divided by 4 plus 3. So here I'm working with... Um, um, hip 50 divided by 4, I have 12.5 um, plus 3, I have 15.5. So I'm going to measure my 15.5 from the hip line. And that will serve as my, my crouch line. So this is 15.5. So you can see how I'm taking the measurement 15.5. So I'm going to rule my crouch line. So this is my hip line and this is my crouch line. So I'll just rule my crouch and I'll note here as my crouch. So now the next thing we want to do is to step down by three inches to form the tie line. So from here, I'll step down by three inches. So if you're on a bigger side, you can step down by four inches to form your tie line so what i have here now is my tie line and this is my knee line and this is the full length of this um this dress vertical lines i'll just come in from here one inch to create my border line so this border line will, will serve as the line of my hip So I'm extending my border line to the hem line. So once that is extended, the next thing we are going to do is to take our hip divided by 4. So I'm working with hip. Um, hip 50 divided by 4 is 12 and half. So I make a mark of 12 and half. I'll go over to the waist. I'll make the same mark of 12 and half. I'll do that to the crouch, to the uh, tie. I'll do that to the knee line. So I'm just taking a straight 
line of my hip all the way to the knee line so i just take it all the way to the knee line so the, i have my width now so the next thing we want to do is to come over to the crouch line and at the crouch line i'll come out by three inches so I'll mark, make a mark at 3 inches and, and at this crouch line, I will come in, place my tape diagonally and mark 1 inch. So what I'm trying to do now is to create my, the curve for the crouch. So you can see me placing my curve for the crouch and I go this way. So I've gotten the uh, curve for my crouch line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to determine the grain line. So to determine the grain line on center line, I'll place my tape on these three inches to this. Here I have, I'll divide it to get my, my center line. So whatever I have here becomes my grain line. Okay, so I have seven three quarter here. So I'll keep marking seven three quarter seven three quarter like that so from the crouch i'll just make dotted line all the way to the end of this trouser line okay so that becomes the green line or the center line so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to come over to the waist and i'm going to measure my waist um measurement so my my waist measurement I will start from the this part which is the center line I will start from that I will measure my waist my waist is ten inches and I'm not using any that for it like I said this jumpsuit has no waistline but I'm going to fuse it together the upper and the lower part so that is my waist at ten so I'll just bring it to the hip line this is my hip line so i just bring it to the hip line so once i've connected um, that to the hip line next we want to do now is to measure our tie so i'm working with tie 28 that is round tie 28 divided by 4 i have 7 this is my round tie measurement divided by 4 i have 7 inches so this seven inches i'm going to place it on the tie line and i'll measure seven inches and i'll place it on this line this way i'll measure another seven inch so i connected from the tie to the hip okay so you can see how i placed my ruler and connected then i'll also place my ruler this way and connect okay so i will not be touching uh, the knee. I will not be taking any measurement for the knee because this particular um, trouser we are making is I will call it a free or palazzo trouser. Okay, so it's actually free or I will call it a palazzo trouser. So I'm going to place my ruler. You can see how I'm placing my ruler. And I just placed it, the hip part of it. You remember we placed it this way. So I just turn it this way. Okay. So I'll be able to have this to the knee because like I said, it's actually a free trouser. So I'll place it this way for this and I'll just take it down. I'll just keep it this way. So there is no actual measurement for this. So if you have this hip cup, just go ahead and do that. But if you have this one, if this is what you have, this is what, uh, how it should be, then you can shift it and place it this way, okay? So all I'm doing is to make sure it comes in a little, but it's actually going to be a free trouser. So from this line right now, I'll just take what I have from here to here. I have 1.25, I'll transfer it here, 1.25, because I need a straight line. So I'll just join that straight line. I'll also measure what I have here. 1.25 1.25 and i'll just make a straight trouser and uh, a straight line so if you are making a pencil 
um, um, trouser for this, then we can talk about the knee line. But since this is not pencil, we are not talking about the knee line for now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut what we have on our pattern. All right, so now I've gotten my uh, back block, okay? And this is the three inches I earlier mentioned, okay, for the back block. So what we are drafting now is the back block. So I'll simply bring in my front block. You can see I also made um, um, my, my border line of one inch. So I'll just simply place my, black, uh, my back block making sure it touches this line on the hip line can you see that and it also touches this line on the hem line so what i can do now is to fasten it with my masking tape so it does not move while i'm making the back alteration so i just go ahead and hold it down okay on the hip line that is where it touches this line so i'll just hold it down all right so once we are done with that the next thing i'm going to do is to come over to the crouch extension that is the first thing i'll do and i'm going to extend my crouch so once I've extended my crouch, I'll come out again by another three inches on my crouch. And on this line, I'm going to place my, I had this this way, diagonally. So I'm going to extend my diagonal line from this line. I'm going to measure two and a half. And from this line, I'm measuring two inches, two inches, okay? So I'll quickly come in with my pattern ruler now. The two inches, I'll measure it from the beginning. So make sure you have it measured from the beginning. Let me just use a straight line because this part is straight up to this part. Then once I've gotten to this part, I'll now curve my, my uh, ruler. So I'll just curve it to touch the two inches line up to this line and connect up to that line so now i'll continue from this point which is the front block i'll now measure start measuring to two i'll measure in between here the crouch line and the tie at two and a half then after that i'll start measuring two two inches two two inches because the trouser block is always longer longer for the back so i'll connect those points from the tie line i'll keep connecting them i'll keep connecting them at two two inches so i'll just go ahead and draw a straight line from there to the hem so that is my back so now i want you to pay attention to what I, i'm using these three inches i told you to go up initially to do so at these two inches i'll come up by and um, sorry at this line this waistline i'll come up by two inches so this is my two inches and i'm going to make a mark i'm going to position this my tape from my waistline i have my waistline is 10 inches so i'll just do this you can see how i, I placed it this is where i have my diagonally touching this line and this line this is my two inches so i'll just rule a straight line from there this way at two inches and here i'll lift up what i have right here i'll just lift it up and do what and reconnect my to the hip line so i'll just raise it up there and reconnect to the hip line so this is my hip line this line is my hip line so i just want to note it so i'll just go ahead and do this connect this to my hip line this way 
okay so that becomes the back trouser block for me so i'll now go ahead and trace out all i have here now okay on the sides i'll keep tracing i'll keep tracing i'll keep tracing i'll keep tracing it I'll keep tracing it till I get to the end. So like I said, I'm making use of the whole of this for my, uh, for the length. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut, take off the front pattern. So I'm taking off the front pattern. I'm going to cut what I have on the back block. So this is my back block, the part I traced. Like I said, this is actually a free trouser. So this is what we have for back pattern. And this is what we have for our front pattern. So we are going to bring in the upper piece of it, which is the half scale right now. We are going to bring in the half scale. Okay, so this is how uh, the pattern looks like. So I'll bring in the half scale right away and fuse it together. So I'm cutting my half scale as you can see right now and I'm going to fuse it to the jumpsuit right now. So I've fused it together now to form one full jumpsuit. So you can see I use my seal tape to seal it. So our front jumpsuit pattern is ready right now. So I will set it aside. Then we'll be cutting it on our fabric right now. So I'll be showing you how to uh, have that your butterfly right on fabric. I'll show you how to get the butterfly shape. So for the back, I'll bring back my back pattern. Can you see that? So this is my back pattern, and this is the center. All right, lovely people. So this is our back pattern. This is our front pattern. So this is the center back. Take note of that. This is our center back as well. So center back has to be fused to center back. So I turn it this other way so both of them will match. So if you notice, we came up by two inches, if you remember. So we are done with what we are using these two inches. We use it to get the exact point at which we are going to um, shaping our waist. So now, in fusing this, we are going to fuse right now. So I'll just bring in my adhesive. We are going to fuse this to this. Can you see? So we no longer need these two inches. We are done with it. So we just go ahead and fuse this to this on a straight line. So it's not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like this on this straight line. Okay? So that's how to go about it. So right now we are done with this pattern and what we have right here is what we are going to cut on our fabric. So I'll be showing you how to go about um, the butterfly cut right away using this pattern we've drafted right now. Jumping into the sewing of this dress, I have a uh, two silk fabric of different colors because like I said, we are going to have it um, differently. So this is two yards and this is two yards. So one is going to be for front and one will be for front. So that means I'm dividing these two yards to one one yard. It came by 60 by length. So I'm going to share it one yard, place my pattern for the front and cut front and front. So that is why we actually made this pattern because if you want to cut this directly on fabric it might be a little bit difficult to achieve 
so you we need to draft it on pattern so we'll be able to separate so now i'm going to cut um each one i will cut one one yard of it i got myself two yards so i'll separate one one yard that's separate four pieces one one yard for all then i'll start cutting so right now we want to start up the cutting of this jumpsuit this can really be very technical okay because we are using different colors for right and left for back and front so you can see i marked the wrong side this is the wrong side of this particular fabric this is one yard so this one yard i marked the wrong side now i'll be placing my back pattern is for the back so i'm going to place my back pattern to it and you see how i place it now you can see how i placed my jumpsuit right now so you'll be placing it for the wrong side facing the way i placed it right now so next i'm going to do now i'm going to add my seam allowances for stitching and i'm going to show you how to go about the butterfly i'll cut it and explain to you how i did it All right, beautiful people. So right now, I just want to explain to you what I did right here. I added one inch on the zipper allowance. Remember, we are working on the back. One inch is for zipper allowance. And I added uh, one inch from beginning to the end to sew the crouch. Since we are adding a zipper, everything, I added one inch. So now... I added 0 0.5 on the hem. So if you look at my hem, you can see I've cut out this part, okay? So that is what I wanted to explain to you. I've cut out this. So by right, if you are cutting this jumpsuit the way it is without the butterfly, you will just go ahead and cut into your armhole. But we just stopped our cutting on the waistline. So you can see it. To the waistline so you have to cut your uh, cutting on the waistline so that is it so now the next thing i want to do now i'll just give a little shape from that hem so let me quickly give a little shape from that hem connecting it to here so you see how this is cut so this is for the back and that is how i'm going to cut the other back too so what i did was from that uh, point I took away two two inches now two inches till I get to the waistline so I'm going to take off these two two inches so that will now give it the gap that we need I believe you understand what I'm trying to explain so this is how your butterfly jumpsuit is going to look like as you can see so I'm going to use this to cut the other part of the back so the other part of the back i'm going to place the so this is the other pieces for the back we are still on the back so this is the right side okay so you have to place it the right side remember the other part we placed wrong side before we place our pattern so i'll bring in my pattern and place on top of this now and cut so you can see how i placed it right now so that is the right way to place it note that the one below i placed the right side and this is the one on top we still have the wrong side so that is to say right side to right side which is inside right side to right side has to touch each other so i'm going to cut now and take off the excess so from here to here i came down by two inches on this straight line and follow my shoulder slope line to that point okay so that was how i cut for the front so i'm going to cut right now all right so i'm done cutting as you can see right here i've cut everything so i still want to show you that two inches that i took away to form the the butterfly so i'm just taking it away for you to see so i've taken it away so that gap of two inches between the main fabric and the 
fabric itself has to be there to the waistline can you see that so that is that for the back so next we will jump into the front all right so we are cutting the front right now i want you to take note that this same fabric i started with for the back which i marked the wrong side for the front you are going to use the right side please take note of this okay if not at the end of the day you see you've cut everything on the wrong side so please take note of how is being placed when i started the back i used a, a mark sign showing the wrong side but this time i'm going to place this same pattern on the right side and place my pattern now i've placed my pattern and you can see i placed it the same way i did the crouch facing this way the center front facing this way so now i'm going to cut and once i get to the hip i'll still do the same thing i did the to separate the the butterfly all right so now i'm done cutting and for the front and i added 0 0.5 inch for the front you need to add 0 0.5 inch okay because um we don't have any zipper for it so 0 0.5 all around and i came down with the shoulder slant two inches at the end of it here so i've already started cutting like i did for the back and i added from here to here 0 0.5 inch then from here to here two inches so i take off the two inches as usual to separate the boats the butterfly okay to give the gap so this is it so the difference here is that the front pattern is placed on the right side while the back pattern is placed on the wrong side because they are same fabric that is going to be on one side so i'm going to now place the wrong side of the other one and place this on top of it so let's go all right so this is the wrong side of the fabric so you can see i marked it so i'm going to place the um replace the other red one that is the horse blood the color to match wrong side to wrong side this time all right so i've placed it right now so we still have our right side on top still facing the this way two inches from here for the shoulder slope so i'm going to cut right now including the two inches gap we gave in between the bodies and the butterfly so let me cut now all right so now i'm done cutting the other part so i'll still show you the two inches i'm taking off okay so once you take it off that is the butterfly for you okay all right so now we'll be going to join them together so you can see the fabrics they are different this is front and this is back so I'll go ahead and join front first. I'm joining this and this together first, after which I'll join the back. So normally you know how to go about um, uh, joining. I'm joining on the center front, okay, where we have the crouch line. See, I've joined the two colors right now. So I've joined it up to the crouch line. Can you see? So this is it. I'll just open it for you to see. So you can see this is the neckline and this is the joining up to the crouch line. Can you see that? So I'm going to join the back the same way right now. All right, so now I have my back and I've joined my back. So from the neckline, I left the zipper allowance. You can see it the zipper allowance here i have 22 inches running from the neckline so after 22 inches i said sewing at 0 0.5 into sorry at one inch into 0 0.5 so at this 22 inches now i'll just go in and cut off the excess half an inch okay on the crotch line So I'm going to blend it into all right so I'll be sewing my zip right here so I'm going to sew a zip to this point 
but before that i'm going to create a facing so i'll be using these little pieces i have to create facing for my neckline so on the neckline i'll just use one of the necklines to demonstrate to you how to create the facing so i'll just do this for this part that is um that has this color this is the right side i just come in with the plain part so it matches and is neat i'll come in with the plain part and i'll secure it with my pins so what i'm trying to uh, do now is to create a face seam so i just secure it this way can you see So you have to take note the width of this so that everything you are doing matches up. So I just go ahead and cut. That will serve as my facing right now. Okay, so I'm actually working with a silk fabric. So you can see it's, you know, wobbling up and down. So you have to actually manage it. So I'll just go in here. Cut the neckline this way so that is how to cut uh, create a facing so I'll take it off I will use this to cut the other side of the back so here you can decide to uh, have your facing the round facing at 3 3 inches so let me say from here to here 3 inches or three and a half. Let me do three and a half. So what I'm just doing is just to blend it up so it looks exactly like the facing we know. So I'm going to repeat this for the other using this fabric. Then I'm going to sew two of them on the neckline and turn. I see the facing right there. I place some notches on the neckline. So by the time I iron it, it goes this way and we have a neat finishing. I also did the same for the other side. So I'm going to iron them now. So we want to talk about the facing for the front. So note that for the front, they are together. So any color can go for it for the facing. So this is the neckline for the front. So all I'm going to do now is to still do the same thing. I'm going to place um, a bigger one of this facing. So I'll just find a bigger one and place it this way and repeat the same process. So I'm placing it this way and I'm going to cut like this and go in by 0.5. Uh, by three inches just like i did so let me quickly do that all right so i've sewn my facing right now as you can see the facing and i top stitched i also give it a good press to lay nice and flat so i also added my hemming gum okay somewhere here to hold it on this is what a hemming gum looks like i just inserted a little so it will be stable for me but i didn't add here because that is where we are going to sew the neckline from so I'll set the front aside and we'll be talking about the back. So the back now, I've already sewn my facing for the back as well. So this is the back facing, as you can see. And this is this for this. So the next thing I want to do now is to sew my zip so i'm going to sew my zip right now i'll sew my normal way of sewing zip use the facing and cover it so now i'm done with the sewing the zip and i've given it a good press so i i stitched them i used the an invisible zip so by the time i zip it close it will not be 
visible the zipper will not be visible so if you can use an invisible zip just go ahead and do that so this is my invisible zip and i've zipped it and i've ironed it down as well okay so we have one uh, the back as one piece now and we are going to bring in the front so i'm going to match the front now this is the front piece to the back so once i match it i'm going to sew my i'm sewing my facing okay so this is the facing point so i'm going to match it at this point making sure the same lines are together so we have two types of uh, ways you can sew your facing you can decide to pin here and sew straight and turn you can also decide to use one to overlap each other so whichever way i'll just go ahead and sew now all right so now i'm done joining the shoulder as you can see to the sleeve line so the next thing i'm going to do now is to join the crouch line okay so i'm going to start from one end to the other of the crouch i'll sew down to the trouser line this way so i'll quickly do that now. so the crouch line i've stitched the crouch line as you can see so i've stitched it up to this way so the next is to go over to the sides so i'm going to match up the sides and i'm going to sew from the um, hip line down to the hem and i'm going to also sew the butterfly parts okay so remember this part was the two two inches part when we were cutting so i just sew this way and this way to the end let me do that for both sides all right so i'm done joining the the other side now so the next thing i'm going to do is to pick up the this is the sleeve part and this is where where the arm is going to pass my arm is going to pass right here so I'll just go ahead and mark out the space for my arm. So my round arm, I'll just uh, use uh, 5 inches. So I'll just mark 5 inches right here. So I'm going to sew down, okay? And I'll sew the other part, mark, up, mark out 5 inches where I'll pass my arm. Okay, so it's just the wrist part of it that will be passing through these five inches and is enough to pass your wrist as you can see so so now i've closed up the sides and i left the you can see i left the opening for my sleeve okay and i have to stitch down to the end and this is the side of the jumpsuit as you can see okay so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial and if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye, -bye.